been a busy day. I've been to the charity shops. Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller. Saturday, I never go to the charity shops, but I had to drop my son off at a birthday party outside of Pontypridd. My wife is like, well, as we're here, do you want to go around some charity shops in Pontypridd? She never says that. Like, never. So I had to take advantage, and that's where we have been today. This is how we got on. Little pile of Nintendo Wii games here on the top. Wii Sports, 50p. Disc is inside. Just Dance 2015 for a pound. Manual and game. Looking at the other titles for a pound each. I don't think they're worth getting. We'll be bringing those back with us. Bit of Battle Royale in the charity shop. Look at this down here. Made by Bluebird East End Market Store. The box is absolutely massive, but it has got the box. Loads of food in there. Got a little till with some scales. Now there aren't any solds on eBay. And there's one listed up for 20 quid. They want a tenner for this. Thinking there could be a bit of money in that to the right person. But I know what I'm like. It's a huge box. It's just going to sit in my garage, take up a load of space. And I will never ever get around to listing it. Because it's one of those that just is out of the ordinary. Will take a bit of time. So we're going to leave it. I would have thought this would have been worth more than it actually is. Super Mario Piranha Plant Escape. Oh, obviously pre-owned, but there's the piranha in there. Looking a bit menacing, isn't he? £2.50. I mean, brand new, 20 quid. Lots listed on eBay, not many sold. Pre-owns. Pre-owned is going to be a hard sell. I thought that this would be a little winner, blazing the Monster Machine plush, but I'm being very careful about the sell-through rate nowadays. There are a few of these listed on eBay, not many sold. It's two quid, so although they do sell for 10, 11 quid plus postage, it's going to be hanging around for a long time. Wales rugby shirt tucked at the back. Size small, five quid. I am building up a fair few of these shirts and they're not selling as quickly or for as much as I thought, particularly with it being Six Nations season. Lots of cracking on the badge at the front there, cracking on the collar there. This has been through the wash a few times. So we'll be leaving that one for someone else. We found Lucy off of the Lego movie. I've seen some of these Lego plushes before and if you can get the right characters, they do do pretty well. This one is five quid. There's just gonna be no money in this. Might go for a tenner all in if you're lucky. Mm. Who have you found there? Koopa Trooper. Koopa Trooper? Let's have a look. One pound fifty. I've got a little bundle of Mario stuff. I got some Yoshis, I got a Mario and a Bowser. I'm trying to see if there's any markings so we can see who made it. Any dates on, I can't see any. Ah, but for a pound fifty, he'll go well in the bundle. Not often you see Game Boy games in the charity shop. A couple of Mario's, Wario, Tetris, and a Golden Sun at the back. Great to see. Ten quid each for the Game Boy games. Just no money in it. The Game Boy Advance game you wanted twenty quid for, and looking on the eBay souls, maybe you could push thirty-five quid for it. I'm not taking the risk. Not enough profit in, in it. He had a ton of graphic novels in there too. You wanted ten pounds each. Um, no, it's, they're not going to sell. They're just not going to sell. You could hop on eBay, hop on Amazon and buy the exact graphic novel you want for that same price rather than hopping into a charity shop, finding a book that you might want to read on the off chance. If they were a five reach, I would have probably bought a load of them because I enjoy reading them. And it's a good cheap way to read a series that might not be on your radar for 10 quid each. I'd rather hop onto eBay or Amazon and buy one that I really want. So, not much luck in Ponty really. I found that generally the quality was quite low and the stuff of higher quality was priced that there wouldn't have been enough margin to make it worth my while picking up to resell. But on the way home, we all stopped in to get our haircuts and I popped into a few of the local charity shops around there. Didn't get any footage, but here's what I picked up from those. A pair of Adidas Gazelles. They were only three quid, UK size eight, little bit of wear on them, bit of wear on the back there, but still plenty of life. 
Now, I thought these would be worth a lot more than they actually are. Hunter, great brand of wellies. The adult sizes go really well. Children's, not so much. Might squeeze a tenner plus postage out of them. I took a complete punt on these. We got a Samsung Gear VR, powered by Oculus. It's kind of like a headset. £7.50 though. Thing is, they're brand new. They've got tabs on either side, not opened. Now the ones with the controllers, they go for a lot of money. These ones, not so much. May be able to squeeze a tenner profit. And I picked up two. But this pickup saved the whole day. Talking Bingo by Excalibur. 199. We've opened it up. It's all in there. I've tested it. It's all working. The box is a little bit tatty, but I can glue that back together. And if I do that, it's in reasonable condition. Sold on this is absolutely crazy, particularly over in America. And actually, I think that goes with any kind of electronic or talking bingo set. Definitely something to look out for. So all in all, it was an okay day. A little bit disappointed with Ponty but it was nice to go there just to see what it was like, tick it off the list. Maybe I just caught it on an off day. And if I'm in the area again, I will give it another chance. A couple of weeks ago, I found this Swansea City shirt in a charity shop over in Porthcore. After a bit of research, this is actually an official match worn shirt. You can tell because the Swansea City badge is a bit bigger than it should be. And the name lettering and number on the back are larger than the replicas as well. Well, Monday nights, I play football with a few friends from work. There's the pictures in the background there. And one of the guys is a die-hard Swansea City fan. A brave thing to admit in Cardiff. And I'm gonna give this to him as a little present. It's not always about making profits. And look, all I've got invested in this is a fiver. So that's all it owes me. Yes, I'll be losing potential profit, but he's gonna absolutely love this. And that's what it's all about. Putting the right items in the right people's hands. Oh yeah, I got a little present for you. Yes. Ah, look about this, look. I you have to hide that around here. No, <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> You're filming it now. Hey, that's sick. Looks good, doesn't it? Class. What do you think? Wait. Hold that. <laughs> what I saw was that was the badge, Premier League badge, yeah, it just yeah, stuck yeah, out yeah. on the side, and I was like, got to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's literally five quid in the charity shop, fourth quarter. Just there on the rail. In front. Fucking swans mad. Now, last Wednesday, I made an awesome Facebook Marketplace pickup. There is a bit of profit in this but this is entirely for my personal collection. Let me show you. Now I've bought some Transformers masterpieces off of this seller before. He's got a huge collection that he's slowly breaking down, shuffling around, selling off the bits that he no longer wants. He gives me first dibs and I've got five of them in here. This is the first one, Smokescreen. Nissan Fairlady, class model. Another Nissan Lady, this one is Prowl. Cool little sticker kit on him, Highway Patrol Police. Those two will pose really well together. Lancia Stratus Exhaust. This is a Decepticon. I've got Wheeljack. So again, this one will pose really well with that Transformer. What's that little bird he's got on him there, look? All American Muscle. Chevy Corvette Stingray. Trax. Now this, I think, has got a little stand in it because he does fly. Look at that. It looks like you get a little blaster in there too. And then Lamborghini Countach, alert. Another police car. Now this is the same mold as a side swipe that I've already got. So one of them I'll be displaying in car mode, the other in robot mode. Oh, and I got this little expansion pack as well. This is pretty neat. So these are little chrome tipped guns of different colors. And you can replace the stock guns that come with these Nissan Fair Ladies with those. Nice little touch. So Transformers masterpieces are by far my favorite Transformers. Really well produced, really difficult to transform. It would probably take me half hour, 45 minutes to transform each one. Now I've got to know this guy over the past couple of years. I bought a few bits off of him and he's been very honest about why he doesn't sell these on eBay full price. And it's because there are a lot of knockoffs kicking around and it would be very easy for someone to buy this, claim that it's fake, and send him back a fake one. So I paid 30 pounds each for these. If I was to buy them off of eBay, you'd be looking at 50 to 60 quid. Now I am convinced these are genuine. There are lots of different checks you can do on the box and on the figures to verify that. And this is exactly where I wanna be going with my collection. So far, it's just been buying bulk whenever I see it. Doesn't matter really what it is. But now the collection is getting a little bit out of control. I need to rein that in, 
and really focus on bits that I really want. So you see, hitting charity shops, hitting marketplace, it's not all about finding stuff for profit. It's about finding stuff that you enjoy and just want to have a little bit of fun with. Anyway, enough of that. Let's check out some eBay solds. Now, I've been binge listing those Monster Jam Monster Trucks, so it'll be no surprise that the first three sales are Monster Trucks. Uh, but the best thing about binge listing loads of the same type of item is it can attract collectors and repeat buyers to buy multiple items from you all at once. That's what's happened here. So I sold Sasquatch. Quite a rare monster truck that actually. That's gone for £15, that one. I love the style of this one. This is Zombie Monster Dalmatian. That's gone for £8.50. This Hot Wheels Psychedelic has gone for £6.50. So those three monster trucks are sold for £30 plus postage. On the theme of diecast vehicles, I sold this Hot Wheels Ferrari 250 LM. I always look out for Hot Wheels Ferraris. Basically, Ferrari and Hot Wheels went separate ways at the end of 2014. So there's not been a Hot Wheels Ferrari since then. Collectors go mad for that type of stuff. It's only gone for five quid all in. That should go as a letter. Woody from Toy Story 4. Reasonable condition. Paintwork on his face is good. Got all his fingers. His waistcoat's a little bit stained and batteries are on the last legs. But because this is one of the newer ones, there is a little Velcro patch there. You can open him up and you can change the batteries in him. I sold him as he comes, £14 all in. I've sold a Wales rugby jersey. This is size youth large and I've had so many questions about this. Potential buyers asking me what age does that generally fit? Well, I don't know. Kids are all different, aren't they? And actually in the last two photos, I did put a tape measure down there and a tape measure across there so that the buyer could go in and see the exact dimensions of this shirt. Obviously, no one's been looking at the last two pictures, have they? Finally, a buyer did swoop in for this one, sold for 14 quid all in. I picked these two Monster High dolls up, 50p each at the car boot sale. We have got Rochelle Goyle and Venus McFly Trap. These are the zombie shake versions. Not complete. She's missing some of her twirly bits off of her feet there, but still reasonable condition. A little bit of a pen on her face, but look at the shaved hair down there. Really, really cool finish. These are quite valuable. Even in this condition, they've gone for 30 quid all in. Obviously, if they're all complete, they go for much more. I sold my 2015 Bluetooth Furby. This was in terrible condition. The battery compartment all completely caked with acid. I have managed to clean it, although it does still look really dirty. Definitely works though. In fact, it was so bad, right, that the acid had started to leak out into the fur. Obviously, it's all well described, all photographed. Key thing with this, it's got his eye mask. That is going to go missing, isn't it? That Furby, even in that condition, has gone for 25 quid, all in. This was an absolute flop. This is Spyro 2000, and I got really excited when I saw this. It's by Dennis Fisher. It's an old school Spyrograph, isn't it? It comes with three big rings. I've got those in there, but you need a special pen set like that. Now, the pens in here were all dried up, and I don't know if you can actually buy replacement ones. You could probably make your own custom one if you sellotaped a few pens together. But I paid a fiver for that. It's only gone for seven quid plus postage. Made my money back. And when I see Spirograph in the future, I'll definitely be checking solds first. I've got three plushes to show you now. First up, from the Disney store, we have got Sleepy the Dwarf. As soon as I saw him in the shop, I just had to buy him. He looks really cute, doesn't he? I think he was about three quid, something like that. And I've actually sold some of these dwarves before. They were brand new with tags. They went for pretty decent money, but they hung around for ages. This one sold within a week, £8.50 plus postage. Certainly not at the higher end whenever they do have the tags on, but a useful bit of profit. Phasma off of Star Wars Build-A-Bear. Got the cape on there, Star Wars logo on the foot, Build-A-Bear logo on the hand. Sold for 15 quid all in. Took a while to shift, but a Build-A-Bear that's worth looking out for. This, though, is a bolo you've got to be looking out for. This is Bolt off of Disney. Disney store stamp plush there. Nice lightning bolt streak on his back there. He's a really cute dog, actually, isn't he? Well, Bolt has sold for 45 quid all in. I'm definitely finding that these Disney store stamped plushes are hit or miss. If you find the right characters, you can get some really decent money. Some more of the bog standard traditional characters, either they don't sell for much money or they hang around for ages. Bolt is definitely one to look out for. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Shout out to Adam Malpass again. 
hat trick of first comments on the videos. Next Wednesday, I'm meeting up with Connor, the Welsh poker picker. We got a little bit of a swap planned, but we'll be hitting the charity shops round by him to try and find some bits to resell on eBay. Catch up with you then.